So how would you define a, a testing desert? Well, a testing desert would be some uh, area, um, you know, within a state or in a city where we'd be worried about people um, not being able to access testing when they need it. Um, clearly, if somebody is sick enough and they show up at a hospital, there's a good likelihood um, that they would get tested at that hospital. But really what we need to see happening in order to control COVID is that people um, with milder symptoms or even people without symptoms are able to get tested. How much more formidable are the, the, the health response challenges in those testing deserts? Well, so testing is really the start of the process by which we try to control the spread of COVID. So in order to be found as a case, you have to get tested. And if you don't have the opportunity to get tested, then you, um, if you're infected, you could be walking around not knowing and spreading the virus to others. That not only increases the number of people who ultimately um, get the virus, but also increases the likelihood that some of those people um, will become ill enough to be in a hospital and ill enough to, to die. I mean, it sounds as though in these testing deserts, there are potentially at least multiple unhelpful impacts. Is there one impact that is most worrisome to you? I mean, I think I'm worried about a few things. I am worried that we are missing the opportunity to diagnose infections, which will lead to greater spread and put us further back in terms of um, responding to this pandemic. I'm also worried that if people aren't getting tested, that um, you know they may miss an opportunity to be connected to care that could potentially be life-saving.